Hey everybody, my name is Laura. Thank you for stopping by my channel today. So today I'm just going to be teaching you guys how to use a pair of clippers to shave the side of somebody's short hair and then blend it up into the top. And I'm just going to be showing you how to do this because I know that some people have some complications getting it right there and it's really easy to go too high up somebody's head when you're using these and then creating this really narrow look by getting that cut into eye. So I'm going to show you what you can do when holding onto your clippers to be able to know when you've cut enough of a side. So what I've done is I have my clippers here and I've put on a number two guard to cut Etienne's hair with and a number two is a quarter inch long or six millimeters and these are universal so for anybody that's the measurement for it. So I'll just turn them on and I'm going to pull his hair straight down like this and put the clipper starting at the bottom and I'm going to lean in with the top part of my clipper right here and then once I can feel the bottom part here latch onto his head and go against it then I'm going to move the pressure from the top down to the bottom and I'm going to put it up his head. And there'll be a moment when you're going up where you're going to feel this part here stop making contact with his head. And by putting the pressure all down here, that way it's just going to go up and then naturally stop making contact with his head. So. Holding pressure there, feeling it on his head, and then when it comes off, touching, it's when it's done. Straight up. Straight up like that. So there, leading in with the bottom, changing the pressure to the bottom of the clipper, and going straight up. And so with someone who has a very like straight head like this, you're going to be able to go up really far before the contact breaks. But with somebody who has a more rounded in head like this, you're gonna see, say if it's like this, that contact is gonna break a lot lower. So it's just always being very conscious of where the clipper is on the head here and where you can feel it. And so you do that and then give it a comb down and check and see how it looks. So yeah, if you decide that you want to go up a little bit tighter in the corner than the natural motion of this does, then you just come up slightly tighter. And you can do this really slowly. This doesn't have to be like taking it right off. You can try it 20 times in order to get it right. So always be conservative before you go ahead and take a lot off. So I'm just gonna take a little bit more because I can see there's a tiny little, little bump right there. So again, just feeling for the base of the clipper right along there and what it's taking off. Okay, and that's better. And then I'm just going to spin him and do this to the back. And in the back, it's kind of going to depend on what kind of shape you want to go for. You can play around with this. Sometimes people go up really high, but I'm just going to kind of watch where I saw it went. So keeping in line just right here. And again, do the same thing. Feeling it come off and just going straight up. And you just go and do this all the way around the head. Can you see this? He's going to curve out here. You can watch my clippers. And coming out. So you never ever 
except for right when you first dip in, lead with the top of your guard. let you guys go on and continue to do this yourselves um, but that is how you're going to blend the bottom into the top so thank you for stopping by my channel today um, if you could please just click subscribe and you'll be able to come back and watch my videos every week would really appreciate